An educational streaming platform centered around West African history, business, politics, and culture will be coming on stream on June the 19th. Keep that date down. It's known as Stream OVG. Uh, the platform will have documentaries, films, and series that can be tracked online at www.streamovg.com. For a chat on how COVID-19 has affected traditional filmmaking and how this platform was spurted out of necessity in the changing landscape because of the pandemic and the importance of teaching the world about West Africa, we are now being joined by Kenim Obagbana, a Nigerian-British filmmaker and entrepreneur with a background in fine art, painting, creative writing, photography, and Photoshop editing. Uh, Kenny began a film career in 2007. At the moment, she's focused on her production vehicle, the OVG Media, where she produces and directs films, documentaries, drama series, and other scripted content for broadcast on TV and digital media. Uh, Kenny has worked on big budget film sets, some of which include Selfless, Half of a Yellow Sun. For several years, she's produced live news coverage and documentaries for 24-hour news uh, network Arise T News and worked on various projects with high-profile global leaders from the United States President Barack Obama, former United States President Barack Obama, uh, former President Clinton to Nigeria's President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, welcome to the program, uh, Kelim. Uh, I, 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 I'd like to talk about the part that really struck me about this OVG stream that is coming up, West African history. And what entries do you have for that? Because we have stories and historical facts in West Africa we don't talk enough about. Yes, yes, definitely. I, I believe that those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. And I think a lot of the issues that we face here in Nigeria is due to the lack of understanding and education in our history. Um, so this platform, I feel, is really important uh, for Nigeria and for the world and for West Africa. Yeah. Thank you for that. It's particularly timely with the Black Lives Matter protests all over the world and this whole push to remove certain offending statues. And you realize that a lot of people have this whitewashed version of history. In Nigeria, it's sacrilegious that history was taken out of our curriculum entirely. So it's really great that you're including West African history. But can we talk about the kind of content that you'll have? Can you give us some of the examples of areas you'll be looking at and also with your documentaries? Well, yes, definitely. So we're not only exclusive to West Africa, but West, uh, West Africa and the diaspora. So that includes, you know, stories in the U.S., the Black Lives Matter movement. So we do have this documentary, A New Era, the post-COVID-19 world coming. And this documentary really focuses on, you know, COVID-19, what it has done around the world, not just Africa, but what it has done around the world and what we can learn from it. All right. Uh, I'm really excited about that documentary. I'd like to see it. But I want to know more about this, the streaming site. Tell me more about it. Is it on Netflix? Is it going to be paid for subscription? Because, I mean, creating all this content and not free, you'll have spent a lot of money to be able to curate and create this content. So tell me more about it. Uh, tell me about business modeling. Tell me exciting stuff. Excite my ears, please. Okay, so our unique selling point is that we are edutainment, a hybrid between an online school and an, edutainment pla an, an education platform. So really, when you come to our site, you're going to be educated and you're going to be edutained at the same time. Um, so we have different documentaries, one called Fashion Business in Nigeria, Film Business in Nigeria. We, we have... Um, you know, documentaries about the history of, uh, you know, Africa. So we have one called The um, Old African Way, where we have, you know, uh, it's a series, and we talk about, you know, the Biafra War, we explore, you know, African di dictatorship. You know, we have different, you know, a variety of different content um, on the platform, just to set centered around, you know, history, business, politics, and culture. I noticed that with your Biafra documentary, you had an honest account of Biafra, so you're promising something that's different from the norm. So what actually inspired you to launch Stream OVG, and what does OVG mean? Right, so I think the inspiration is that, as I've said before, the idea that, you know, so many of us don't understand why, you know, Africa is the way it is now. Um, a lot of us, especially in my generation, we, were, we missed out on the opportunity to learn our history in schools. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they send their kids abroad. So you're really going to, 
indoctrinate yourself into different societies and not represent your own society here in Nigeria. So this was really important to, to let millennials and also people of all generations understand our history, understand our business, people that want to do business here in Nigeria or in West Africa, to understand what the landscape is like, what opportunities are there, and, and even us here in Africa to understand how we, we can take advantage of our opportunities and really improve this continent and take it to the next step. All right. Uh I want to talk about curating and getting content, because content is the lifeblood of any streaming site. Is it just going to be OVG Media getting content, or you have to buy content from other people, or you have to bring in independent people that want to put their content on your site? Okay, so what we do is we have a partnership model where we work with other creators and filmmakers who produce content, and it comes on the site. So. The model is almost like a, an online market space which allows creatives and filmmakers to make the stories that they want to tell um, and, and distribute that to the world, really. So that's more of the business model. Like, for example, um, uh, The Old African Way was made by one of the creators on our platform. Um, and, and, you know, we have different uh, creators that are building content right now or creating content right now. Um, so yes, it's, it's, everybody is West African or you know, all the diaspora that's creating content, essentially. So you have your exclusive documentaries, you have films, you have series. Can you tell us what to expect? Yes, so what I would say is you know, the first thing you should do when you log in um, is, is uh, you know, watch uh, A New Era, watch uh, um, the old African way and watch some of these business uh, shows that we have discussing whatever sector you're interested in but discussing the importance or, or the landscape of business uh, here in Nigeria. All right. Uh, I, I like the fact that you talked about business. I like the fact that you talked about money. Money is the lifeblood of any business. It is that oil that wails the machine and the machinery of any business. What is going to be the revenue stream? Money has to come back to you to keep this going on. You need to pay for your cameras and do all the things possible. Are we going to have to subscribe for this site? Tell me, because this can't be free. It's too good to be free. <laughs> yes, it's absolutely not free. Um, you know, you're getting education. You're getting valuable content. So definitely, you know, a free education is not a good one most of the time. Um, so we have different subscription models. We have Sapphire. Uh, which allows you know you to just you get sci-fi when you you know purchase individual uh, content. Then we have a monthly subscription, um, which is the gold uh, sorry which is a silver membership or a VIP. And then we have the gold subscription, which is an annual subscription, which is VVIP. Which uh, the gold subscription gives you access to every single thing on the platform, and this the silver gives you access to two brand new documentaries every month. Great. This is actually perfect timing because obviously cinemas are closed due yeah. to the COVID-19 pandemic. When they do reopen, it's going to be a lot of hygiene protocols, social distancing. So a streaming service is perfect at this time. Tell us more about how your streaming service is relating to the changing landscape of entertainment and edutainment. Yes. I mean, you know, to be honest, the way, at least around the world, streaming is the present. It has been the present. I, I say this a lot, me personally. I can't tell you the last time I turned on a television, but I can tell you the last time I put one off because it was making too much noise. But for me and, and a lot of millennials, we have been online for so long, um, for 10 plus years. So I think, you know, this is just catering to, that, uh, to the people that are already online, and as well as the new growing audience of people that are forced to stay at home because of you know, COVID, um, to, to keep them educated and entertained from their homes. All right. I, I, I still want to look at uh, the revenue stream, revenue modeling, let people know what to expect. Is it going to be competitive? Because you've, you've got tons of streaming sites out there competing for attention. Uh, you've got Showmax. And are you going to probably have an app for it someday soon? Because that's another way a lot of people like to go. They just like to pop up the app and be able to stream and watch what they want to watch. 
I want to subscribe for gold on the 19th of June, the gold package. That's what I, I will do, and I promise you I'll do that. You'll see me up there. How much will it cost me? So for the gold, the all-access um, costs um, 40,000 Naira, or um, $95, uh, which is about, I believe, around $12 a month uh, for that subscription. And, you know, in terms of com being competitive, you know, really, we are a hybrid between an online school and a, an, um, an a, a entertainment streaming platform. And so really, you know, because of this unique selling point, we really do stand out, we really, really are different because everything that you're going to watch on the platform is something that is important and that you will take away from it and to improve your life. So this is where we really do stand out um, and I don't think there's anything like it. Can you tell us a bit about your signature documentary? Because I really am interested in your take on the post-COVID-19 world. Take us behind the scenes. What inspired that? What do you hope to achieve through it? Right. So, you know, we, we go around the world in the different episodes. Uh, part one, we focus on the U.S. versus China and the blame game that they've created. We explore ideas on what are solutions to combating global crises like COVID-19. Then in episode two, we take a deep dive into Nigeria, understanding how COVID has shone a light on the dysfunctional systems within our country and what we can do to, 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 benefit, uh, to, to grow. You know, we've interviewed many people like Hakim Bello Asage, you know, um, we've even interviewed uh, Ruben Abati, who, your, your uh, colleague, and you know, many different entrepreneurs. So we have a lot of juicy insight about Nigeria's landscape, why it is the way it is, what we can do to really shape and change this country. Exciting stuff. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd really love to see that. Another content you talked about I'd like to know more about is the Biafran story. I mean, uh, because either way you look at it, everybody tells the Biafran story the way they want to tell it. Uh, the victors were telling a certain way, uh, although General Yakubu once did say no victor, no vanquish. That, that, that's the Biafran story, but they'll tell it in certain ways. I want to know what makes your own Biafran stories or series different from the rest I've seen. You know, this, this um, documentary really focuses on why Nigeria is the way it is today. And that's the perspective. We look back into the Biafran war and we look at how that has shaped and informed Nigeria today. So that's kind of the angle. And you know, they say um, hindsight is 2020. So it's really about gathering that information and understanding objectively how it has shaped the country. We look at tribalism, we look at um, selfishness, um, and different themes that are present, still present and resonant today in Nigeria. Which is the importance of talking about history rather than trying to sweep things under the carpet. As you said, a lot of the wounds from that war still fester today. So it's yeah. important to just get it all out on the table. I wanted to talk to you about your series. Do you have anything to you know, discuss with regards to your series? Is that African content as well or international? Sorry, which content? Which series? All of your, you have a variety of films and series on the platform, yes? yes? yes. Is it African content or international? It's African content. It's West okay. African edutainment. So uh, West African and the diaspora. So we also have another documentary coming um, about the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, we have different things coming around. Uh, we have another one about white supremacy and understanding and navigating that. Um, yeah, we have, you know, a lot of different content. All right. Exciting stuff. Looking forward to it. But most importantly, one thing, and very importantly, I'd like to know about is... What arsenal do you have on ground to kick off? What arsenal? How many contents, you know, how many viewing time can we get? Right, so... As regards arsenal. Yeah, so we're launching with, in the first month, 41 hours of content. Um, you can decide to purchase, you know, one, content individually for 4,000 Naira, like for each, uh, each package or you could decide to uh, get the monthly, uh, which the monthly is only available in dollars, which is $14 uh, a month, or you could get the annual subscription, which, as I said, is 40000 for one year. So you're saving about 
45 percent um, on on the annual if you purchase it up front rather than paying every month or paying for individual content of content for me uh, once i get in there once you launch 41 hours of great documentary uh great content and great docu right we're uh, looking forward to it we're looking right. forward congratulations to it. thank you break a leg break a leg fast